just too wet. No good. Never thought I'd ever say that. Hello, I am back. What has it been? Like a week or something? But anyway, yeah, I just didn't feel like I had anything really entertaining to make a video of. Um, so I'm very sorry about that. Um, today I will be repairing a bit of fence. Um, so I've got a bit of fence. It's been annoying me and annoying me and annoying me. So I'll take you with me to fix it. It's only like, I don't know, it's some meters. I don't know. But I've got to find stuff to fix it. <laughs> Which... <laughs> and then try and fix it so um yeah let's go right so usually the stuff i need is there um but i don't know so i need the big hammer and the iron bar uh Um, and I need some staples and some small hammers. <laughs> Ooh, I need this. <laughs> this is to pull the wire tight. Um, so that is a good start. Uh, could be something in that. Is there anything in that? Nope. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I will have to go look elsewhere. I've also found some of the fencing tools I need, but this is frozen. <laughs> oh. Iron bar, big hammer. Oosh! So I've got everything I need in the Pioneer. We'll get up to where I need to fence. I'll show you everything I've got and what I need to fix the fence, and then I'll get to it. Here I am, I put the dreaded fence I need to fix. Uh, it's not as long as I thought, it's only about uh, five, 10 meters. So it shouldn't take too long, but there's some twigs here that need cut in because they're in the way. Uh, I'm not sure if the wire is good or bad looks to be good it's just the posts need replacing so hopefully should all be good i'll show you all the tools that i need to fix a fence right so the first tool and the most important tool you need to fix a fence is me so someone like me um just you know or yeah someone who's daft enough to swing a hammer. So I haven't got a post knocker that goes behind the tractor, so I'm just gonna have to use a big hammer. Um, we'll get to that, that's buried under here somewhere. So let's go through what else we need. Still, chainsaw for chopping anything that gets in our way. Ooh. Uh, the obvious fence posts. You need them to fix the fence because it's currently flat. Next thing we need is a bit of barbed wire. I hate barbed wire. Oh, owie. Oh, I do not like barbed wire, but it's really great for stopping cows jumping. See, scratched straight away. Great. Another big important thing is obviously the wire. I'm not sure if I need any on this piece. Uh, yes, the wire is ruined by there. Um, so yes, we need the wire. <coughs> Ooh. Um, we need a little hammer with a magnet on it. Um, I call this a blue hammer because when I was a kid, they were always blue. Uh, but I don't, I don't know what they call this. But you can cut wire within, you can grab it, and you can 
get staples out. It's it's a wonderful tool, but yeah, I call this uh, a blue hammer. Let me know in the comments what you call this. What you call this? Blue hammer. Um, a bucket full of staples. Oh dear. Um, a wire tensioner. So this will tension the wire. Um, and I seem to have forgotten the two most important things. So it looks like we're going back to the yard to get the other two things. <sighs> Any great fencer will tell you what you do is you've got to come and look at the new pick the yeah right okay you see what the problem is just by if there's a bit of fence you pick it up and you shake it to see what the problem is and then uh, you have a snack then yeah you have a snack and you just stand here with your hand on your hip you stand like this hmm Eating your snack, contemplating what to do. Mm. Yeah. Any great friend, if they don't do this before they start, don't bother. I've cleared uh, all the trees that are in the way uh, with the chainsaw. Uh, I had my chainsaw helmet on and my chainsaw trousers and my gloves and my chainsaw jacket on. Um, I've just, I've put them back in the Pioneer out the way. Um, but yeah, always make sure that when you're chainsawing you have the correct safety gear on. I had all mine on, but I've just, I've, I've, I've just got changed and I've put it back in the Pioneer. Right, all the sticks and everything are out the way. Now we need to get these disconnected from the wire. Um, so we need to pull all the <coughs> staples out. As you can see, the staples in there holding them and a bit of string there. Wowee, that's great. Great work that is. See if I can get this one out without making an utter fool of myself. Look at that. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, that's too easy. Keep your staples in your hands because you don't want uh, sheep or cattle stepping on them and getting bad feet. Oh my lord, that was too easy. Only three in there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's all the fence post is connected. We've got a nice straight line. We can see where the wire is. Next job is to make some holes with the iron bar to make it easier to hit the fence posts in. You know, you've got to make, you've got to make a hole before you just shove it in. Right, so now we've got one in the hole ready to be knocked in. Uh, I'll repeat the process uh, in the gap that we need to fill and then we can get to the hammer and start hammering them in.
Right, there we have it. There's one, two, three, four, five put in. Uh, they're in there ready, so I can just hammer all five in at once. And then we can start with the netting. So yeah, whoop de doo my favorite part now. This is all I use. Um, I don't know how heavy it is. Heavy. Um, it's all about technique. I haven't done it for a while, so we'll see. Is my technique any good or not? <laughs> down three to go <sighs> keep going baby come on baby come on baby Oh dear, this post is rotted. No good. That's not going in. Just too wet. No good. Never thought I'd ever say that. Last one in this row. So let's get it done. Ah, yes. Right, so there's five put in by hand, just pure power. So now we can pull the fence up to them, staple them, put the barbed wire, and she should be stockproof again. Right, so I've totally Frankenstein this, but I've managed to pull the barbed wire fairly tight. Um, that can go there, stapled in. This will go there, stapled in. And I could pull it a bit tighter with a bit more Frankenstein in. But, oh, wowee. This. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's worked better than I had, what I was expecting, but it's still... An absolute bodge job. Right, I have completely wangled this fence, completely bodged it, but there was no fence there before. And now that is technically stock proof. So no sheep can get over there. Uh, I'm six foot three. And the barbed wire is, you know, up to my waist, so nothing should be jumping over that. And it's upright. You can see there was a track coming through it. So I would say, and all in all, that is a Frankenstein job well done. Right, so there we have it. There's how to Frankenstein a fence. Uh, when you don't want to buy any new materials and you just want it to be stock proof for another few months before uh, you rip it down and do it properly. So, yeah, that's it. Um, that'll be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, you can click the like and the subscribe. Um, if you didn't enjoy it, you don't have to. You don't have to click like and subscribe if you liked it anyway, you know. It's up to you what you do. Um, but, yeah. I hope you enjoyed uh, what you saw. I am going to be starting doing more videos. I'll get back into the swing of it now before long. 
Um, yeah, I just took a week break. Week break isn't that long. But yeah, I've got I've got lots of stuff to do anyway, and I'll do some YouTube videos about it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and have a lovely day.